This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, we are here to talk about and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Washonke. Hola. What up? Hi. How's it going? Good. You okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so it is good news again for Ikorodu boys as they receive more gifts from Red and um, Reza after. The same viral Money Heist um, trailer remake. This is their time here. Yeah? It is. Their time to shine. It is. Just shine away for up. I like how they're including... I mean, there is the Ikorodu boys, but I like how they're including more kids as well in the videos that they're making. Yeah. Um, I'm, There's the Ikorodu kids as well. Yeah. There should be another handle for Ikorodu kids. Yeah. I'm really happy for them. I think it's so easy for people to see this. I mean, what's the fuss about? Mm -hmm. but you just need to open their page and see how concerned they have been how far they have come it's so so easy for people to just forget all of that and concentrate on the hype right now but they're very deserving i think they need more than that they need to start getting more structure i hope that you know they use this up this i guess this noise to really maximize their benefits put some structure I'm just, I don't know what their desires are. I don't want to speak for them, but I hope that their dreams actually start to manifest. Desire made me remember my, the series I'm watching, Lucifer. But anyway, oh, cool. um, <laughs> um, I'm hoping that with someone like Kunila Fulanyo on their side, mm. there could be that structure you're talking about with time. Mm. And that's if they also allow themselves to be mentored properly as well. Yeah. So I'm really happy for them and I'm keeping my fingers crossed for what the future holds. Yeah. yeah. What I see is the building of an empire because um, gradually... Um, a studio is being created with all these gifts, with all this equipment, mm. because this is a very expensive stuff that will probably take years to buy. I don't think they are making so much to be able to afford all of this equipment. So what I'm just saying is that, look, opportunities just came knocking right on your doorstep. How are you going to make use of it? Because at the end of the day, it's not by getting all this gift. It's about how to put them into use and maximize them to the fullest so i just hope like you said with kunle for lions mentorship and um the cap academy coming into play right here how they just put in all their best put in their, their best foot forward and just learn the ropes of um cinematography you know how to be more creative how to develop themselves because a lot of people are very very comfortable in their yeah. comfort zone and they don't try to step out but i just hope that this would just be a boost. Like, look, we, we have an advantage over a lot of other skit makers, a lot of other people who do remakes and stuff. But um, in this case, they are just doing their thing. For me, yeah, for I them. think so that um, getting better or, like you said, doing better in cinematography or production in general is will be them evolving. However, this Ikorodu boys that we know, making... Um, trying to remake something that is very amazing with whatever they can pick mm. from their environment is actually what I would like to say is their brand yeah. for now. Mm. So even when they get better, mm. if they now start remaking it and you're doing almost the same thing that a, mm -hmm. who's the person now, let me use Clarence Peter would do, mm. I don't think they would be getting their attention. Mm -hmm. The fun is in the fact that you're using a rebarrel mm. to represent a, a, a car, mm. you know. I, I hope that they can keep that going and then evolve mm. to create another brand that will also sustain what they're doing. Now. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I think some people are already copying them as of well. Course. There's one I saw, uh, so, of yeah. course. Those, those are props actually, but in this case now they have better equipment to shoot better remakes, still using their natural... What's the point of the better remake? <laughs> What? The What's point the of point the of her doing quality, a better remake? Quality. For what? Nominations for different awards. People want to grow in whatever they do. There there an award We're category for remaking exactly. somebody's trailer. Why, but, but you mentioned structure, right? I was mm. hoping that when you're talking about structure, that would be one of them. People beginning to recognize this part of entertainment, this part of uh, art. Nah, I think it's just because they're kids. Right? You can't um, um, recognize copying. I, like the, the, the idea of parody is, is that you are copying you someone and that you are, creativity that's what you're that's saying not on a platform that's like copying. you want us to give a word for you copying something for you getting creative about doing something you no guys for you think, copying the lighters director was, 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 yeah should well. lighters director get, get an, an award, award for copying that's and different how like, it's literally it, the it same thing they didn't copy and paste 
No, this this is not copying and pasting. But you guys are just going back on your words right now because if it's copying and pasting, then they'll probably use the same car. They'll probably use. No, let me explain what I said. No, 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 yeah, because no, LC was even mentioning that they, what's going for them is the caricatureness of it. So they make it almost like a joke. Yeah. Out of the serious production. Did you see the so, one they did with Bonner Boys? Um, that's um, that's the example I was going to give. Where they use use, funny leaves and stuff. They use camcorders to make these videos. No. Okay. So standard camera. How how evolve how how much involvement does it take to use a really good camera? Like, after you use a really good camera, what else is there? After that, you repeat what I said. Maybe you didn't you get it. I'm you saying I agree. I agree. To come up with the same caricature. You need a crane. Yeah. You need a crane if to copy. I agree. Something. I'm surprised you guys are saying you're talking about your production point of view. You are listening to me. That's the point. I agree they need to evolve. I agree they need to make um, a business out of what they're getting now. I agree that they need to get better in cinematography and production. But I'm saying that this part of their business, this what we know them for, is what is getting them the buzz right now. And I'm hoping mm -hmm. that they don't let that go until they think they really can't let it go. Because mm. if you're going to remake a Bonner Boys video and then you make it exactly the way Bonner Boy did it, then maybe Bonner Boy is about to slam you with a lawsuit. Mm. But because it is caricature and it is making us laugh, that is what is actually making them nobody, nobody, interesting nobody, nobody for us to watch. Nobody's disputing the caricature That's what we're talking part about. Of it. Nobody's disputing that. I'm talking about the quality of the video in the quality making of the caricature. that. The quality okay. of the video, the quality of production, the efforts put into production. Mm. Nobody's talking about your creativity being tampered with. We're just talking about the quality. What are these cameras for? Are these cameras for being caricatures? No. Mm. These cameras are for production. Having better pictures. Mm, okay. Simple. Okay. So I'm the, I don't argue to that. Agreed. Moving on to the next story, following a complaint lodged by a Ghanaian TV personality, Stacey Amuateng, Miss Bell has been reportedly arrested. A report says that Stacey reported the controversial musician to the Police Criminal Investigations Department of the Ghana Police Service for defamation of character. The publication also added that DSP Juliana Obeng confirmed the arrest um, to Adam News. Uh, I thought defamation of character is not a criminal offense and you can't necessarily arrest the person like handcuffs i feel like you can file you a lawsuit or something but i don't know you're the lawyer course, on this so table if, if there's the formation of character maybe they didn't tell us the backstory but if there's the formation of character and they've come to you to tell you that okay retract the statement you're saying something false about this person you're doing this and you're doing and you are standing on it like yeah i know what i'm saying i know what i'm saying the law has the right to pick you up get you arrested till you make the necessary corrections that are that are required of till she, till yeah. she makes the situation or till they are charged to court and then a court order comes in um yeah now the courts may decide if oh are we going to pursue are we going to go into trial is it going to be jail term or are we going to tell you to go put an apology in seven publications on on television on newspaper on this there are different punishments is it community service what are you going to do to serve for defamation to set an example that you cannot talk falsely about people you mm. can't say things that are not true so to borrow jamie spare's words again mm. the court knows best. which is my question exactly is she supposed to be held until that decision is made or she's supposed no, to be able to she, have they her? said she was arrested but um i don't know was it specified that she's still being held mm. Mm. i guess so i guess that's the important question because i know there's different treatments for different types of crimes mm. Um, and it was a bit extreme, especially when it's defamation. And it hasn't really been proven that it's actual defamation. Because if I've said what I've said with my chest, and I'm I correct mean. or whatever, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and, you know, like, and the other person hasn't even been given a chance to say, okay, it's actual defamation, and I've said what I've said, and I have an opinion, or, you know, just argue it out. I don't know why you would then, like, physically arrest the person. Like, if there's a trial going on and the person is, you know, being pull dragged um by the law i get that so it's really confusing for me i wish there was more details but you about know in this story. part of the world what we call arrest can just be invitation for questioning and then right. people see you leaving your apartment with police officer ah they don't arrest them it's not actually like yeah. that the yeah. police comes and be like oh you're you're invited to the police station for mm. some why question. did they call me off once invite <laughs> 
<laughs> Why did they have to come to the door of my house with their uniform? This arrest is arrest. in this part of the world, like you said, yeah, you have arrested me, please. <laughs> if you want to invite me, pick up your phone, call me, send me an email, send somebody to say, mm. well, um, depending LC, on the matter of urgency, we need if, if the um, plaintiff... How urgent is the defamation? If the plaintiff is... Mm. How urgent is the defamation? Yeah, it's not as though it's threatening what? your life now, physically. What do you mean? I'm threatening your life physically by saying something. Are you going to compare that to, like, a if domestic violence? If my life violence? depends on my job or putting food on my table and you're saying something that can affect me losing it's my still not an eminent me threat, losing my though. job me losing this that's tread on my life but the it's not the same thing as maybe putting a gun to no, 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 this is not this is not a um, relative thing if it's, it's not, not relative it's not, you're saying me if it's not that no, okay, so, so you cannot I mean what you decide that it is a trend that's what I'm saying. it's life. not a relative thing that's what i mean by you saying you it's not a relative thing Okay, okay, what people, what different people decide as try to You are still saying the same thing. Same same thing. Boy, it's okay. But anyway, maybe Ife will help us with his Ghanaian contacts to get more background story. But before, until then, let's go on a very quick break. And when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature minded people. Like, I got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Um, Davido is opening up regarding his experience in college, and he says he was mocked um, in college for being black. Of course, in the United States of America. Mm. If I want to be precise, <laughs> pretty white, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it's it's kind of interesting that he has that. I don't really see it on a daily basis in his. I guess he, he's not very open about that aspect when he said he well, he grew up in america and also grew up in um nigeria i didn't really i wouldn't really if he didn't say that i think i forget that he's like that i think with two savage or shay shay it's it's they still give me that i just got back vibes like they are very attached to their so to another culture yes wow. <laughs> but in a good way like wow. i just feel like he's so like he's embraced the nigerian culture so much i didn't even think that that was part of him but it's interesting it's not news that 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 was his experience it's very very common for that to happen and i like that he also brought out the struggle of being african as well i think it's very easy for outsiders this is not even a race thing just anyone who isn't black and african and living abroad to think that the black struggle is the same for black americans and africans and it's not it's actually quite a disparity and will i say a gap between the black americans and africans as well um, and there is, to me personally, there is a level of hardship that is attached to even being African because you're not even in the black American culture anyway. So I know, I, I know, I know where he's coming from, sort of. I, I think America is a bit extreme. They carry the, you know, gold medal in that and I've not, I've not experienced that type of racism. But I, I understand that. I just wish personally that he was a lot more articulate about it. He's talked about it many times and he keeps talking about it very jokingly. I don't know if he's just not capable of really having like serious conversation where he's giving us meat. Or maybe it's not that deep for him. Well, he brings up quite a lot and I'm pretty sure it was deep for mm. the way he's saying it in, our, in our Alabama but he just doesn't give me much of like you know when I say deep you know there are people who hold on to things and they worry about it it treats me like this the hate keeps growing in them they are not going to let go until right. they fight it mm. for him it's not that deep that was what life threw at him I think <laughs> and he has he has mm. gone through it he can talk about it he can move on go back there do business and all that and come back I'm pretty he's sure not he carrying it on his head yeah. like one yeah. you know, and I'm pretty yeah. sure he was also shielded like he wasn't like a black American that had nothing and had to like hustle on the streets or anything like that so I, i'm sure to a large extent his parents must have at least been supportive and protective of him and that helps quite a bit with mm. um, battling racism 
Um, what caught my attention was the narrative of how um, Africans are being perceived, especially when you travel, when they start asking you questions like, oh, you guys have plasma screens, oh, mm. you guys have telephones, you guys have Wi-Fi, you got, you see, uh, like, his own example is like, how did you get to America? And you're like, I got so on funny. the plane. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand? Like, do you understand? So I think um, we need to tell our stories better as well mm. in as much as we're trying we're doing our best but these people still don't see us like we're actually developing we're developing nigeria is a developing country there are a lot of underdeveloped countries in africa as well but at the end of the day there's progress it's one step at a time so i think it's a narrative it's what we put out we there. do have a part i don't know if this is the time for me to share this with you guys okay we'll well, yourself up Oh, wow. <laughs> Please, I'm still here. So, it's a feedback on tea time. Maybe I'm hoping the person might be watching later on Ben Television in London. And they were like, oh, Nigerian girl kids are actually cool. Really? Oh, oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> like, imagine that somebody telling you, oh, Nigerian kids actually are pretty cool. cool. Mm -hmm. Like, Oh, are we not supposed We're to watching be watching cool? tea time, yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like, So I think we have a, a lot of play, and it starts with me and you now. People are beginning to see that Nigerian <laughs> kids are cool, right? And um, probably, <laughs> you know, it's, it's the truth. The narrative yeah. is changing. Yeah. Do you understand? Now they're beginning to see it. So I think we're the voice for the people. And then that is why... Um, Okay, don't let me go there because that would be another talk. Okay. Because I wanted to bring in cultural appropriation and all of that, but <laughs> no, don't go let, there. Let, don't, don't, uh, I don't even have the energy. Don't, don't, go. don't, Thank don't, you very don't much. even let us go yeah. there. God bless. But at the end of the day, let's just be the voice we want. We're to doing be what heard. we can do, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Moving on to the next story. And this is coming from a man who actually took whiskey's personal life very personal, and he said, and I quote, "I really hate rubbish. I honestly do. You don't become a father financially alone. You have to be emotionally available for all your kids. Mind you, your favorite child might not necessarily be the one to make you the proudest." Um, and this is just coming from the fact that he posted his son, mm. Zion. Yeah. <laughs> It must be tricky. I, I I don't know personally anyone who has a lot of kids from a lot of mothers. Um, <laughs> so I can't really relate to the struggle, but I can imagine that it's complicated for Whiskey. I'm not going to yeah. I'm not going to say that I have an in, I have a I have an idea of his intentions. Or oh, he's doing it deliberately, or he's not doing it deliberately. Or I, I know that I know that when it comes to media pers perspective, to me it looks like he spends a lot more time. With Zion, when I saw that story, that's why I thought, like, yeah, actually, I can see why somebody would pick that up. But then after thinking about it, I was thinking, well, maybe he has the best relationship with Zion's mom. Thank you. And maybe the other Maybe he's it's always in that city as well. Exactly. So I know that there is a lot of, um, what's it called, complications with that. However, I remember the interview that Bolu, is that his name? Bolu, mm -hmm. yes, Bolu's mom had, and she's tried her best to really not be the person that would talk about, especially since that whole thing. But she was very clear that. Whiskey is not very active in Bolu's life like that. Um, so obviously there must be issues and stuff. But does that mean that he's a bad father? I don't necessarily think so. I think baby mama drama and all of that type of stuff is just a lot more complicated than picking a side and who's good and who's bad. Um, even the, the nature of the... I don't think it was supposed to be built like that. You know, you're supposed to have a mom and dad together. Mm -hmm. So once, once that is not there anymore, it's complicated. Compli it's complicated. Yeah. So I cannot ask for normalcy when the situation is not normal. But if, if Whiskey is deliberately cutting his kids out, obviously he needs to be chastised for that. Um, this but, man has done it, yeah? Yeah, I mean, and if, if it's, uh, it's just beyond him and, you know, you can't really control mothers and how they want to expose their children to your life. If they don't like the baby mama or they don't like your lifestyle, there's a lot of things that go into that, then it's what it is. I'm hoping, though, the only thing I can take from him that I solely agree with is I'm hoping that they have, these kids have strong mothers to protect them from the fame, from the, like, what we're doing now, even just talking about their lives and having opinions about that. Some people will do it in a more cruel way. I hope that they have mothers that can really build them up for that type of stuff so that they can defend themselves and hopefully they have a good relationship that's enough behind the scenes that we don't know about. I understand that people require balance, especially when it comes to other people's lives. But um, there's a saying that says, you who wears the shoes is, um, is the one who knows where it pinches, right? So, um, and I like the angle you came from as well, that um, the relationship with the other baby mamas 
matters a lot mm. secondly where is your base right uh, people are saying this because it does photo shoots it goes on concerts and most of these things are in the uk that's where it's been i don't think whiskey that since the lockdown started i don't think it's been in nigeria i think it's been mm. in the uk even when bonoboy went to the uk recently it was with whiskey right and a lot of other stuff that we've seen whiskey so if it's having more interactions with zion at the moment is because that's where it is maybe we should bring up this topic again when he's in nigeria and he's not having interaction <laughs> with bulu artifair or when he's Lagos in america or when he's in, or when he's in america and he's not having interactions with ayo mm. do you understand so right now that's where he is so i don't see any big deal in this um, story for here. me so. it reminds me of a blog post i wrote i think last year and this is regarding the decisions we make as adults i mean i'm not knocking anybody down when they are baby mamas or they decide to have baby mamas i mean that's for the men now but i think that it has gotten to that point where we all need to really sit down and think about it are you having baby mamas because it happened that you just have to be a responsible man or you're having it because you think that's the cool thing to do now mm. like you said the dynamics what we understand is that you have a mother you have a father when it is out of that box which nobody's saying it can't be out of that box, mm. but when it is it is definitely complicated so if you're choosing that part are you have you considered the children, um, the children? Mm. have you considered yourself as mm. well because as much as you said balance and we have to bring in balance we are humans mm. how, how much of a balance Thanks. can we really bring so i think that for me i want to speak to those of us that do not have children yet or have mm. not entangled yet um when you're going to have make these decisions i'm not saying don't decide to have a child even before marriage i'm just saying really think about it because i don't believe that children pop up like that like you ha it happens because you did not probably take um the necessary steps to avoid it yes um in heat of the moment the pleasure and all that but really think about what you're doing because another life is involved or lives will be mm. involved and that complication is even a big deal for your own mental health, not talk of the children. That's how I feel. That's how we wrap up. Okay, that's how we wrap <laughs> up. Thank you for watching and please do join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also send your opinions via WhatsApp to 90 5719 um, Of course, you can watch this conversation and all exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also watch Tea Time in on Arrow to TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shukeye and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.